What's going on? My name's Jay, and today we're talking about a surprisingly popular question. Are Chromebooks good for video editing? Let's take a look. All right, here's the scenario. You want to start a YouTube channel, but you need a computer in order to edit the videos. You maybe are buying one for the first time, or maybe you've had a laptop in the past, but it mysteriously decided to stop connecting to the internet two weeks after starting a marketing company. Yes, that actually happened, and no, the irony is not lost on me. On top of all that, you don't have a very big budget. Let's say you have less than $500 to spend. So you hop online, you go on to Amazon, you're poking around, and you're seeing that most of the things that are in your price range are either really, really bad PCs or Chromebooks, and the Chromebooks pique your interest. The only problem is that Chromebooks don't run Windows or iOS. So the question is, can you even edit videos on a Chromebook? And the answer to that is yes, but there's some things to keep in mind. There's a couple different caveats. We're gonna get into those, uh, but first let's talk about what a Chromebook actually is. Chromebooks are laptops, technically, that run Google's Chrome OS. Now, Chrome OS is not like Windows or iOS or Linux or anything like that. The Chrome OS is built to live on the cloud. It is meant to operate on the internet. Everything you do in a Chromebook is meant to be online. And because of that, Chromebooks don't need to have a lot of processing power. They don't need dedicated GPUs. They don't need to have a lot of storage space because everything lives on the cloud. So really when it comes down to it, yes, you could root the computer and you could install Linux on it and you can just have a Linux computer, but because of the lack of processing power, and the lack of storage, it's unlikely that you're gonna be able to run DaVinci or Premiere Pro or HitFilm or anything like that on a Chromebook, especially not those sub $500 ones. If you wanna get pricey, you wanna get the Pixelbook or maybe the Samsung Chromebook Pro, I think it's called, those might work a little bit better, but if we're talking under $500, which most of the Chromebooks are, you're not gonna get very far. This leaves us with basically four options for editing videos on a Chromebook, and we're gonna dive into them right now. First, let's talk about WeVideo. WeVideo is an online video editing app, and it's probably the closest thing you're gonna get to actual editing software. It kind of reminds me of a bare bones Filmora. Just like in other editing softwares, you can drag clips onto the timeline, you can trim them up, you can add some very basic effects like cross fades, cross dissolve, stuff like that. You can do very basic color correction and, and all that stuff. In fact, when I first started making videos, when I knew nothing about actual video editing, when I didn't even have a camera yet, I was using Wii Video to edit very simple videos for an older channel that has long since been dead and buried. We don't we don't talk about that. Now there's a lot of limitations when it comes to Wii Video. For one, you can't separate the audio and the video tracks, which is just infuriating. Also, while there is a free version, that free version one gives you a big honking watermark over your video and at the end of every video, there is a logo that you just can't get rid of. Also, the free version, you can only export in standard definition, 480p. I mean, what is that? Nobody watches 480p now. You would think that they would have at least maybe let you do 1080p and you have to upgrade to do 4K. The good news about Wii Video is if you have the pro version, if you are paying for the software and you're a G Suite customer, Wii Video actually syncs with your Google Drive. So you can export your videos directly to Google Drive and then get them onto YouTube that way or whatever you want. But for the free version, there's the bare bones effects, that stupid watermark, the stupid logo, and 480p video, what is that? I'm getting angry, let's move on. Your next option is to use browser extensions. There's actually video editing browser extensions that work with Chrome and you can install them and you can do very, very basic editing. And I mean like dragging something into a timeline, trimming it up and just stick, stitching each clip together back to back. You're not gonna get really any options with that. But if that's all you're looking for, it's free, it's simple and it's there. Your third option is to use another kind of simple video creation thing, something like Adobe Spark, where you just choose a template, drop in your footage, add some titles and add some music and you're done. You really get zero options on the editing front. You can't color correct, you can't do audio editing or anything like that, but if that's what you're looking for, if you just wanna to stitch together some footage, maybe make it 
you know, look pretty with some templates and titles and stuff, then that could work for you as well. I actually kind of like Adobe Spark, not for creating full-blown YouTube videos, but maybe doing a little promotional video here and there. It's actually really good, but I, I would not recommend it for creating full-blown YouTube videos. Now your fourth option might actually be your best option. It's pretty cool. Since I have left Chromebook, I did have a Chromebook, but since I've left there, Chromebooks have actually become compatible with most Android apps. So you can actually install something like PowerDirector or KineMaster on your Chromebook and edit your videos that way. And that actually would give you a few more options than I think even we video will give you. So you're, you're good to go there. If you want to edit videos on a Chromebook, I would say that my recommended path would be to go with one of the Android apps because you can actually export 1080p footage and get it onto YouTube. Whereas with Wii Video, unless you wanna pay for it, you're, you're st 480p. Now, if you decide to get a Chromebook or you already have a Chromebook and you're editing videos on it, by the way, if that's you, if you have a Chromebook and you're editing videos on it, give me a comment down below and let me know what you're using. Then it's probably a safe bet to assume that you might also be using your cell phone to make those videos. If you wanna learn about how to make better mobile video, you can check out this video right here or you can click on this playlist for all sorts of video production tips and tricks. And to learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video, right there.